to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you something different. This time, it's not a bag or any luxury item, but it's also luxury in a different level. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome back. I upload video every Sunday about luxury items, mainly vintage bag. I'll give you a little bit of a background, some history, and hopefully at the end of the video, you will learn a thing or two. So, some background. I will be showing you my very small collection of China cup and salsa. Hey, who would have thought I will be collecting that? I have been collecting it for the last six months. This is the uh, Royal Albert Bone China. Let's get started. So, it's all down to this baby. This is the culprit. I purchased it a while back. It's like I said, about six months ago in one of those charity slash antique slash consignment shop. And when I saw this one, OMG, I fell in love. I said to myself, oh my God, I really love it. So as you know, Royal Albert, they're famous for their collection is the Old Country Rose. I will insert the picture later on. I don't have one of those Old Country Rose because it is beautiful. But I think it's one of those design that's very um, bygone years, a bit oldie, oldie worldy, like I said. But it is also lovely. I don't mind having one trio set of the old country rose. You have to always get the uh, the classic, the OG of a uh, cup and saucer or a tea set, whatever you fancy. So this is, I've mentioned, Royal Albert. So this is uh, dated back, uh, the start of the business, about 100 years old. And the brand was created in 1904. And it was gradually built, it was built even from 100 years, 1904. So, this is the lovely Royal Albert. It doesn't have a name with regards to the design. At the back of it, you will see it says Royal Albert, the stamp, and also underneath it. When you're collecting, when you're looking for it, make sure that it actually married. Some of it looks similar, but it's actually not a matching set. So, this one is a matching set. So it's so cute. Can you see it? It's so beautiful. And you know that it is bone china. When you raised it above the sun, obviously very bright. You can see the all the, um, basically, the inside of it. You'll see a silhouette of it and you know that it is bone china. I like to collect the one that's made in England because they told me that nowadays you can have a bone china that actually made in China. And also, as I was like, when I purchased this, I said, oh my God, I don't mind having a little collection of mine. Because when people collect, they will, many, many months ago, maybe even until now, they collect the full set. Unfortunately, if you're living in a flat or if you have a small place and you don't have one of those display cabinet, where are you going to store it? So I have decided that I'm only going to be getting one set and the rest of it, I would love to have a different cup and saucer. It could be a very nice talking conversation. Like if you're having a tea with all your girlfriends and you will say, oh wow, what do you have on your one? What do you have on this one? It was so cute. I think that's a very good modern twist of you serving your cup of tea. As you know, if you're from UK, the first thing they're going to offer you when you visit a house or even when you're working, they will always say tea break. Would you like to have a cup of tea? Yes, please. But it will be lovely if it's being served in a nice bone china cup and salsa. That brings to the question, how do you really hold your cup? Do you hold it like this? Do you hold it by the crook or do you have your sticking your pinky out to me i don't really care as long as you hold it securely it's not gonna spill and you will enjoy it and you won't be embarrassed of the the one that giving the party then why not who actually cares how you hold it what is the proper way why is of all of those there's so many why there's so many you need to do this there's so many you need that really just hold it securely and enjoy it you will definitely enjoy it. somehow for me when i'm drinking my tea 
the easiest way really is to just have put it in a mug and away you go isn't it it's secure it's heavy it's robust but there's something about drinking it in a cup and saucer it makes you feel like oh my god i feel like i'm a lady oh wow i have to act in a certain way or and it feels like oh i have to wear in one of those floral outfits that i would enjoy and have some like a proper like um i don't know whether you guys have seen that film stafford white that kind of feeling it gives you that vibes yeah so maybe now and then you need to do a little bit of that with your girlfriends there's so many lovely places here in england that you can enjoy from a low end to a high end there's so many places that you can have a cup of tea from the ritz from the portland and mason from anywhere as long as you enjoy it or in a nice tea places in a countryside that serves a really really love lovely tea in a nice bone china doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have it in royal albert but because they are famous and on top of that they are the most heavily collectible when it comes to bone china and the new one that they have on top of my head without did a little bit of search is they did a collaboration with a supermodel miranda kerr and she did a friendship um design of cup of tea this is a modern twist it's lovely, it's really beautiful, but my God, I did say the word OMG. It is expensive. I could not believe it. And some of the Royal Albert, the rarer they are, obviously the rarer, the most expensive they are. But to me, I just want to enjoy the, the elegance. And also, I do not want to break my bank balance just to have a nice cup and cup of tea in a cup and saucer isn't it but like i said you do you i do me whatever rock your boat so this is my very first one and then about i don't know about a month ago after i purchased this i have discovered this one this is from royal albert as well this one is in Bremer collection and look at this one it's an 18 8 set a cup and saucer this is called the uh, Bremer Collection. Each one of them have a, a name. But this one, it doesn't really have a name on the other one. I'm sure there is, but for some reason I couldn't find the name. And this is complete. Let me open it all up now. With their teapot. Look how pretty the teapot is. And it comes with your milk jug. And it comes with also the sugar and their plate cake plate see how pretty it is the one thing that i fell in love with this one it's the color it is in powder pink and i as uh, i like the little bit of hint of gold and the white of it is so simple it's so clean and it is very modern yeah, i would love to have a cup of tea with my grandma but i never had a chance to have a cup of tea with my grandma what i'm saying some of their some of their um cup and saucer are one of those like if i'm using it like you have a fear that it might just break because some of the cup and saucer just be careful they have like gracing on it already so make sure that you i don't know tap it and you can't hear something like this like a crackling thing and i want to buy the cup and saucer that i actually gonna use not for display purposes but actually gonna use and enjoy it and then as time goes by i have discovered another one this one is pretty royal albert is well known for its like flowery design having said that this one doesn't have a flower but it's all the simplicity of the leaves as well so this one it's called lavender this is one of their uh, good design as well you can purchase all of this or most of this in the antique places charity shop consignment shop and they are very reasonable have to hunt for it then i found another one this one is what they call a trio wherein you have the cup you have the saucer and you have the little side plate for biscuit cake so this is also cute and i suggest that you go for the trio so it's really pretty but if you didn't have a trio and there's nothing wrong with that one either 
but my the similarity of the rest of my cup and saucer they all have the gold rim this is not from royal albert this one is called uh from call clock that's the design and like i said it doesn't matter what it is if you want to stick to just purely royal albert then go for it then with me i was originally going to stick to royal albert but i can tell you there's so many nice cup and saucers so i said whatever i fancy i'll just collect it this one is another cute one it's a trio this one is from royal vale and look how pretty it is it has like a little cottagey looking on and the design with all the flowery things like it does remind you of a really nice country um little country place lovely isn't it and then you go for the modern one which is this one this one is from susie cooper it's not really for cup of tea this is basically for they told me it's designed for espresso i don't drink espresso but i maybe once in a blue moon i should give it a go one shot and it's lovely and her design are all about fruit and it's all different color from the inside so i have the pear one and i have the uh, oh sorry i have the grape one and i have the pear one it's all different color it's so cute isn't it and then i have another one which is this one is from royal stanford but as you can see the mug the mug the tea the cup, I should say, is different. It's a bit cylind cylindrical compared to this one. You can you see this particular one is they have mentioned they have told me that it's to do with coffee. This is a coffee cup and saucer. So I said, oh, it's cute. Why not? It's very simple, very plain design. So yeah, why not? Obviously, when you have a when you're having your tea in a teapot i'll suggest you buy tea leaves because this is really nice and rather than those pre-made having said that there's nothing wrong with the pre-made i love my good old pg tips with me but if you're putting it in this lovely pot i think it's a crime if you're putting a tea bag you best off put like a proper tea leaves because this one is so cute it has one of those strainer let me see if i can find it you see all those little dots it actually strained the uh the leaves so it doesn't go even better you get yourself a lovely china strainer wherein you put it like that and then you pour your tea and then when you're finished and then you put it back isn't that so cute and as i was looking around again to my i love going to antique places i've discovered this this is a different one it is so cute again and this time this is from royal worcester so look how pretty that one is so it's so simple again it's so cute so there you go that is my little collection of china cup and saucer and i hope you guys like this i said something different and please feel free to comment tell me what kind of set that you have or do you prefer the cup and saucer or do you prefer the good old-fashioned mug nothing wrong with that one as long as you enjoy whatever beverages whatever hot cold beverages you like life is too short just enjoy it i hope you like me i hope you enjoyed uh, this video and sharing you my little small tea set remember it is bye for now keep smiling